Coming up on Sports Weekly, we will break down all the action from the county clash at San Manuel Stadium, including Cajon taking on Citrus Valley as the Cowboys battle back to get a big win against the Blackhawks. And then we will also have an exclusive interview with Cowboys head coach Robert Grande talking about the Citrus Belt League title race and how he thinks the Cowboys might do to put together a long CIF playoff run. And then it's back to the County Clash. More highlights. Colton taking on a Royal Valley. This one went down to the wire. A lot of great games of the County Clash, including, well, the first game of the day on uh, Saturday, Harupa Hills and Summit. This was a one-run game and another dramatic finish. So all those highlights plus, hey, guess what? It's almost time for opening day at San Manuel Stadium with the Inland Empire. The Sixers opening day is coming up on Friday as the Sixers are back in action. We will catch up with 66ers general manager Joe Hudson. We'll have an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with him as well as we talk about some of the great promotions and uh, fun things happening out there at San Manuel Stadium this season. All that and more coming up on Sports Weekly on IEMG, and it starts right now. And what is up, everybody? Welcome to Sports Weekly on IEMG. I am your host, Pep Fernandez. We appreciate you tuning in each and every week. We got another great show for you today, uh, breaking down a lot of great action from the County Clash at San Manuel Stadium. We had three games this past Saturday, and all of them went down to the wire. So if you've not done so already, Make sure you subscribe to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. Uh, we'd really appreciate it, and it is the best way to stay up to date on the best sports coverage here in the city of San Bernardino. So let's get right to the highlights. It was Cajon against Citrus Valley, a rematch of last year's CIS Southern Section Division 5 championship game. Also, uh, you know, league rivals in the Citrus Belt League, John Austin, the head coach of Citrus Valley. He's a former coach at Cajon. So all these great storylines going into this great rivalry game. We had the game live on IEMG. Let's take out the San Manuel Stadium and check out some of the highlights from this one. Myself and Jacob Pedroza on the call for the Cowboys and the Blackhawks. Let's check it out. And here comes the 2-1 pitch. It's going to be swung on. It's going to go right through the right side and in to come to score. It's going to be Riley Hunsaker and the Blackhawks are going to take an early 1-0 lead after a single to the right side by Jared Snyder. And here comes the 1-1 pitch. It's going to be lined into center field and it will drop for a big hit. And it comes to score will be Daniel Roca and it will tie the game at 1. And the 0-2 pitch. It's going to be lined in the center field. And one run comes in. And the second run comes in. And the Cajon Cowboys have taken a commanding 3-1 lead here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be lined in the left field. And in comes the runner from third. As Terrell Jackson gives the Cowboys an extra insurance run. It's going to be Swung on, line in the center field. McQueen's got it, up and throws. And it comes the score. As the throw goes on to second base, and he's out at second after the run scores at home plate. As the final score is going to be 4-2 to two with a big win by the Cajon Cowboys. A wild finish at the County Clash. Cajon gets the win after the game. We caught up with a Cow Cowboys uh, starting pitcher, Garrett Bougie. Went the distance. A complete game for Bougie. A 4-2 uh, to victory for Cajon High School against the Blackhawks. So let's hear from Garrett Bougie as, as well as uh, Diego Sotelo, uh, who had the big base knock, two-run base knock, to give the Cowboys the lead against Citrus Valley. Uh, let's check in with both those guys after that win at the County Clash. Yeah, we've had a lot of close games recently, and we came back a lot. Till the end, we fight all 21 outs each game, and 
come back in the end. We, we try and get to victory. It doesn't matter when it is, first to seventh inning. We got to put runs on the board, and we've done that recently a lot. We need to break open the game early. I know we've been waiting till the end, and we got to keep getting hits early on the game. Our pitching's been solid. We got a lot of guys that have been working hard and throwing strikes, and that's what we're focusing on here, throwing strikes. And our defense has been really strong, and I think offensively, if we pick that up, we're, we're in a good spot. I mean, if we all start going at least 110 at practice and all that, we could we could be unstoppable. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we're pretty used to playing at the ball games. I mean, last year we played in playoffs, and I mean we came back a lot. I mean, basically every game we came back. So, I mean, it makes it fun when we always come back. So you know what I'm saying? All right, next up, Arroyo Valley taking on Colton, also at the County Clash. This is another game that we had live on IEMG, so if you'd like to see the entire game, you'll find it right here on the IE Media Group YouTube channel. But here's some of the highlights. Again, uh, it was a very close game between the Yellow Jackets and the Hawks. Swung on. Ground ball gets past the shortstop. Coming in to score is going to be Damian Valdez, and the Colton Yellow Jackets have taken an early 1-0 lead over the Hawks. 1-2 count. It's going to be swung on. Ground ball short. Shortstop's got it. Throws on the first. But a nice pick there by the first baseman. But it, does not, it is not a time and two runs score. And the Yellow Jackets have a 3-0 lead over the Hawks here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Be swung on. It's going to be a bloop single into the right center gap. And here comes Arceo and going into second base is Acosta with a RBI double for the Royal Valley Hawks to cut the lead to 3-1. to one. Yeah, you're going to need more than... Uh... Than one run, and if you're Colton, yeah, give credit to the Yellow Jackets too. Find uh, you know a scrappy effort tonight to try to get a win. Speaking of win, that's, that's going to be the ball game. Strike three, swinging, and that's going to do it here. Colton picks up the victory, three to one over Royal Valley. And finally, from the County Clash, Harupa Hills taking on Summit. No score in the sixth inning. And the Skyhawks finally break through. Isaac Castanon flares a base hit over third base. That would bring home Sam Lopez as Summit takes a one-zip lead on rival Harupa Hills. Uh, and that would be enough in this one at the County Clash as Summit hangs on to beat the Spartans by final score of one zip. Great game between the Fontana rivals and uh, Summit gets the best of Harupa Hills in this one. Here's the final out of the ball game. Spartans had a, a runner in scoring position on second, but the fly out the left field ends it. Summit wins 1-0 at the County Clash at San Manuel Stadium. All right. When we come back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG, it's right back out to San Manuel Stadium. We will go one-on-one -on -one with Cajon head baseball coach Robert Grande when we come back here on Sports Weekly on IEMG.